Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this opportunity to convey a message. Since I was a child, I have always been fascinated by aircrafts, airplanes, and everything that flies. And I have a strong passion towards these machines. To me, it seemed as though they challenged physics. So I always dreamt of building such things. Whenever I shared these thoughts with people around me, whenever I shared the Kalav, whenever I shared these thoughts with people around me, it seemed as if I were joking and no one took me seriously. I don't blame them for such attitude because unfortunately this is our social reality, which I reject. The real problem is that this attitude destroys our self-confidence. People who lack confidence won't take action because they have a false sense that they're not good enough or they are doomed for failure. Lack of self-confidence destroys all the characteristics necessary for success. If there was a message I would convey to myself when I was in school, it would be not to listen to these negative responses and to develop enough confidence to dream. Dream big. No matter how hard it seems, you can get there. When I was 10 years old, my uncle used to fly airplanes, and I used to go with him sometimes. As I observed this hobby, I realized how, can, how I could pursue this interest. I started building a wooden model airplane made from scratch. Um, I, I spent a whole year building it, and I tried to fly it. I never thought that it would fly. It flew for a couple of meters and then crashed. Uh, I tried to fix it, and then after several attempts, it eventually flew like a bird. And this gave me enough confidence to seek new challenges. As I continued pursuing this hobby, I became passionate about aviation. Afterwards, I went to university. And this passion led me into gathering a team of people who were like me interested in aviation. And we established the PMU Flying Club because we wanted to share our passion with the world. Even with all the roadblocks that we faced in our attempts to establish this club, passion worked as the fuel that drove us forward. This determination resulted in a club that was awarded most active within four months from being launched. We trained students on how to design, build, and fly remote control airplanes and real airplanes using top-of-the-line computer simulators. We also did lectures and seminars and brought key people from the aviation industry to come and give presentations. We never thought that this will grow as to what it is now. We went on TV, a couple of radio interviews, and tons of appearances in the newspapers. It didn't stop there. After a year's worth of hard work, we were given the opportunity to take our internships in an aerospace company in Switzerland, which was the best thing that ever happened to us. We took this opportunity and worked there for two months in the summer. We gained hands-on experience and took several courses from renowned aviation companies such as Airbus Industries. Most of these courses were in design, production, and maintenance, as well as some several safety courses. In these safety courses, we were exposed to some disturbing information, which I don't think will be a good idea to share with you. Uh, for example, we took this uh, a one-week intensive course about uh, airplane crashes investigations. Afterwards, my friends and I decided to drive back to Saudi 5,000 kilometers because we were too scared to get into the airplane after what we saw. <laughs> so we came back, we learned a lot, and we had fun. What I mentioned earlier was a basic summary of what I have accomplished. But the point that I want to emphasize on is that passion led me through all of, the, all of these obstacles that I faced, and it helped me develop enough confidence to dream. 
and it is the engine that will keep me moving forward. After I came back from Switzerland, I started my senior year. I was facing a major dilemma. I had to choose my senior engineering project. I wondered about it for weeks and found nothing suitable. Until one day, one of my good friends brought up an interesting subject. Um, he read about this new deal between the Saudi government and a British company that manufactures UAVs, or unmanned aerial vehicles. And that brought up a big question in my head. Why do we invest in such things in other countries? Why can't we build these airplanes locally? What is it that they have and we don't? Do we lack talent? Do we lack financial support? Is it confidence? Is it passion? Because of the ongoing question that was in my head, I decided to build an unmanned aerial vehicle for my senior engineering project. Do you guys know what UAVs are? Unmanned aerial vehicles? Call of Duty, exactly. That, that was what I, I was going to say. <laughs> but for the older generation that doesn't know, UAVs are self-piloted aircrafts that are capable of autonomous flight. They can carry cameras, um, sensors, and communication equipment. Um, it has been used for, mainly for reconnaissance and intelligence gathering missions since the 1950s. Uh, UAVs are the new, uh, new destination for aviation industries. It is estimated by 2020 35% of all conventional manned airplanes will be replaced by UAVs. As you can see, here, here's the one picture of a UAV on manned aerial vehicles. So I did this research proposal, and I submitted it to the Engineering Research Center in my university. They were impressed and decided to fund this project. It was the first project to be funded by PMU. My partner and I, thank you. My partner and I are currently working on the project and it is expected to finish within the next two months, inshallah. As impossible as this idea may seem, deep down inside, I truly believe that my passion in aviation is what got me this far. And I will rely on passion to surpass all the huge obstacles that I can see in front of me now. Successful people become successful because they truly believe that no matter how hard the task is, they will succeed. And my advice to you guys is please follow your passions, follow your dreams, and don't let anything stop you. Because as long as you do something about those dreams, trust me on this, nothing is impossible. Thank you very much.